Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pi. I'm overseas volunteer from Thailand. And today I am a my lecturer. Uh, today my topic is about power of listening. In dictionary, describe the meaning of listening is mean to give an attention to someone or something and to hear him, her, or it. And it's how one wisdom from Jimi Hendrix. He said, knowledge speaks, but wisdom is listen. Before we start, we start from level of listening. First level, ignore. You don't try to listen and you don't look at each other and you just think about yourself. And next level is pretend. Pretend you look like you listen, but truly you not listen. You just look like the person who are listening, but truly you not listen. And the level selective. You try to listen, but you just listen what you want to listen. And you use the heart with your opinion and your experience. And if it's meant for you, you will accept it. But if it's not meant for you, you just reject it. And the level attentive. Attentive, you try to listen and you look at each other. But this level, you listen with the heart of your, but you don't thinking about it deeply. And the level sympathetic. You, this is the best level of listening. You listen with your heart, you try to understand, and you answer to the speaker. This level, you listen with the heart, my opinion, my experience is could be wrong, and you listen with sympathy. So I want to talk about one story I listened from TED Talk, and it's spoken by William Uri. William Uri, he is a, the person who made a project in Howard University with a project negotiation. So, there is have an ancient and well-known philosophical reader that asks if a tree fall in the forest and no one is around to hear it. Does it make a sound? So I want to ask you again, if a tree fall in the forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? So in scientific view, it said, why a tree falls, it can make a sound, and your ear can hear it. So my question is, if somebody speak and offers my lecture, for example, but no one listens, that is called really communication. And in our life, we live in the age of communication. With uh, so many things, with message, emails, text, tweets, or many things, it have a lot of talking going on. But how much listening can there really be with so much interrupt and destruction? Listening absolutely necessary but often overlook. In our life, we think negotiation is a part of talking, but truly, in the real fact, it's all about listening. When we study about the successful of negotiator, we can see they listen for make, then they talk. And this is the book called core of leadership. This book is said, in one means, you can speak 100 to 150 vocabulary, and you can think 450 to 600 vocabulary. And why other people speak to you? You can think another things. And you, in our life, we learn how to read, how to write, but 
we don't learn how to listen. And this time, I want to talk about one story about Genghis Khan. Firstly, what Genghis Khan he did. He conquered a huge chunk of Central Asia and China, and even one day, Napoleon said to him, if he have a map of the world, he can get many countries with him. So, in everywhere in Mongolia, you can easily spot many things about him. And he is the main character in Mongolia. Many things of him, for example, books, portals, sculptures, and even the name of the place, and of course, many products. So as you see, you see book, sculpture, perfume, pen, and watch. Do you know how much this watch, this watch is named Genghis Khan. It's around $850,000. So if I buy this watch, I think I cannot hear anything in my life. It's so expensive and use the name of Genghis Khan. And the best product in Washington selected Genghis Khan is the man of millennium. And next, I want to talk about the ability of the Mongolian army. First, Mongolian army can discover the distance uh, compared with other troops use three days, but they use just only one day. Because of what? They can find the distance after five, just only one day. <laughs> they can find one day because they can sleep, they can eat, and they can take a shower on the horse. And the ability, second ability of the Mongolian army, they can win all of the battle because they attack when they were off guard. So one day in 12 and 27, Genghis Khan fall from the horse. And at that time, he gets so very wounded. And in his heart, he feel very worried about Genghis Khan's future because at that time, he is near the gate of the day. Until he says, he left two wills for the Mongolian people before he died. First, do not live in the eastern house, but in movable tents. Do you know because of what? Because when enemy came to them, they can escape immediately. And second, he said, do not eat a greasy food because if they eat a greasy food, they will become fat and they cannot ride a horse. So you can become like this person. This is me, my life. Before I have around 100 kg, because of what? Because of greasy food? Why I bring this picture to you for show you if you eat a greasy food, you can become fat. So this is my life. In my life, I think, have you ever have the thought, uh, tomorrow I will start to diet? And at that time, I have the hurt trust in myself. I think I can diet soon. Just today, I want to eat more, and tomorrow I will diet. So in this kind of thought, it means you trust in themselves. So you can watch other videos about trust, uh, a hearse of self-trust from last week. And you can watch again on our Facebook, Nakuru IVF, and on our YouTube, IVF Nakuru. So in my heart, I'm really thankful for all of you to watching our videos. And even we are not professional my lecture, but in our heart, we are the best my lecture. So thank you for watching and comment for us and like to us. And 
So we go far from away from our page and we come back again to Mongolian. Around 800 years have passed since then. Mongolian people didn't listen to the views of Genghis Khan and they become so weak and so small country compared with once they once were. So at that time, if Mongolian people kept the spirit in their heart and listened listen to the will of Genghis Khan, they can remain a great empire in the world. And next, I want to talk about one story. Now we will go to South Korea. So we want to, I want to talk about Lee Kun Hee. Lee Kun Hee he is a chairman of Samsung Company. Samsung Company is a, a huge world electronic company. And it has many products, electronics. So as we know, we would think about product of Samsung is just phone. Phone is very famous, right? But in Samsung company have many things, have refrigerator, oven, camera, even TV, and many electronics. And in his wisdom from Lee Kun Hee, he says, it takes 60 years to speak and 60 years to listen. One day in 1999, Chandu Ali, he went to United States and he fired Samsung product. At that time, he cannot fight, but finally he fired, it's just only in the corner. As you know, right? If the product is famous and if the product is people demands for, is built in front of the shop. But Samsung product is just in only the corner. At that time, Lee Kun Hee, he decided his heart, he have to learn more. And at the age of 60, he went to Japan to learn. And he learned from Japan to listen. In Japan, electric company, they like to invite many part of people to listen about their lecture. For example, farmer, owner restaurant, or many part of people. And because of what? For example, they invited farmer for listen their lecture. If they invite a farmer, they can know the heart of farmer and they can know what the farmer demands for and they can adapt for their companies. At that time, he can change his mindset and his thought. After he back to South Korea, the Samsung company have one slogan, change everything other than your wife and your children. This slogan is not mean you change a new wife or you change a new children, but this slogan is want you to change your point to listen other. If you listen, your life can be success and happy life. And Samsung company invited many famous people to give their lecture. But sometimes they listen 12 hours, sometimes they listen 18 hours. So Samsung Electrics, Electronics two times the profits of nine Japanese electronics companies added together. And one day, one reporter asked to Lee Kun Hee, how were you able to have a huge company like this? He answered, just I listen to the people. So today we can know about the power of thinking, right? The power of thinking, listening, the power of listening, sorry. The power of listening, listening is the key in our life. 
if you listen to others, you can receive many things. So today, how many stories can show us about the power of thinking? For example, for example, negative listening from the story of Genghis Khan. The people didn't listen the views of Genghis Khan, and to the end, the Mongolia become so weak and so small as compared with they once were. And one story showed to us about power of listening. About Lee Kun Hee, he listened to many people and he adapt for his company. And to the end, Samsung company become a huge company in the world and is very famous and have many electronics products as we see nowadays. So today, thank you for your listening and next time we will see again. Thank you so much.